الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله One of the principles of Ahl al-Sunnati wal-Jama'ah which differs between uh, Faisal Jamaiki and, and most of the Takfiri uh, ideologues is the principle of that a person only enters Islam through certainty and only leaves Islam through certainty so when you look at a lot of the fatawa of Faisal for example you see a lot of the things he uses doubt and inferences and you know broad-based uh, criticisms and, and hawa and desires in fact to make takfir of whole nations and this is the minhaj the methodology of Sayyid Qutb who preceded him and many others and uh, more importantly it is the minhaj of the Khawarij those people who expel Islam for the major sins and just one example that comes to mind this is an early morning discussion uh, one example that I recall uh, from his tapes back in the 90s, one of the things he used to do is say, how could Israel exist when all these Muslim countries are, are, are around, uh, around them? They have to be Kafirs. So this is, this is what I'm giving you insight into and, and trying to point out and emphasize this principle that you can't just make takfir of whole nations and, and people uh, based on your desires that has nothing in fact what he says has zero to do with Islamic rules of takfir of the Dawabid takfir the Mu'ana takfir and for those of you who are muta'asib who love Faisal and love I mean really love based on total desires and I can only say that because I have so many of you who come on my page and call me uh, you know racist names and stuff like this and I don't think any of you would have the courage to say that to my face and I'm waiting for you anywhere you see me on the earth and that's just out, out of a, a courtesy and, and not as a really a threat, but I'm just ready for you if you're ready. And, and I just wanted to mention that, uh, mention this principle. It just came to mind because so many people ask questions about takfir. I don't know why so many people, I do understand everybody's concerned about falling out of the fold of Islam. That is important and it's important. We don't want to be hypocrites and we do want to... Uh, have iltizam be deen. We want to adhere to the deen. And, and the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in, like Omar bin al Khattab radiallahu ta'ala he was uh, concerned. Was he on the list of the hypocrites? He used to ask Hudayfa radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And th that's very important. But people ask, you know, are they kafirs and, uh, you know, about issues of takfir, about all, all kind of strange messiah. And so I just wanted to, that came to mind that what's most important is to realize you enter Islam with certainty and you don't leave Islam by doubt. Meaning, you don't leave Islam by some, uh, you know, thing you're going to have to ask intricate details about whether it takes you out of the fold of Islam. For example, one of our brothers, may Allah preserve him, asked about a YouTube agreement and things like this. You know, these are really strange uh new issues in Masail and they really have nothing to do with the issue of, of takfir, you know, and ruling by other than what Allah revealed, you know, there's there's a whole set, these are very intricate and detailed Masail but the people sometimes oversimplify and come up with things that <laughs> you just don't know what, where to even uh, point them in what direction. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and may Allah bless us with ikhlas with the bat. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Muhammad.